After years of education being a battleground, Congress and the country, Republicans and Democrats alike, took on and moved past the education wars. Agree about what was needed, passed the Every Student Succeeds Act, or ESSA. Donald Trump dismissed the will of the people, choosing instead the most anti-public education nominee in the history of the department. Like a lot of Donald Trump's cabinet choices, she's a billionaire with an agenda. As Republicans and Democrats, parents and teachers all came together around ESSA, where was Betsy DeVos? She was working in Michigan to undermine public schools and to divide communities. When the option was to bolster underfunded public schools, she fought instead for a tax cut for the rich. When the option was to support neighborhood public schools, she disparaged public education and fought to divert taxpayer dollars to for-profit charters. And when the option was to strengthen charters with real accountability, she fought for no accountability. What's the result of all of this? Student performance has declined across Michigan. Nearly half of its charter schools rank among the bottom of America's schools. And now she's poised to swing her Michigan wrecking ball all across America. It should come as no surprise that we are steadfast in opposing her nomination, but equally steadfast in our continuing work to advance reforms that will make a positive difference in the lives and success of children. And that rests on four pillars. Promoting children's well-being, supporting powerful learning, building teacher capacity, and fostering cultures of collaboration. Let's start with children's well-being. Community schools like the Community Health Academy of the Heights, or CHA, help meet students' physical, emotional, and social needs. Needs that left unmet are barriers to learning. CHA provides vision screening for every student and free glasses to the nearly 200 who need them. CHA stays open until 9.30 at night to offer adults GED and ESL classes, as well as physical fitness and health classes. CHA has a food pantry and a parent resource center. Students also have access to social workers and a full-time psychologist. It's about powerful learning, learning that engages students and inspires them to tackle complex concepts and difficult material. One way is through project-based instruction. That's when kids take on a long-term, real-life problem. They investigate, they strategize, they share responsibility, they build resilience, initiative, agility. While campaigning, Donald Trump said, and I quote, vocational training is a great thing. We don't do it anymore. Actually, Donald, we do. And we've been fighting for over a decade to do more. Take the Toledo Technological Academy in Ohio, where students are offered a chance to develop their STEM skills with local businesses. The director of manufacturing at GM said of TTA students, and I quote, they do as well as interns we bring in from places like Purdue and the University of Michigan. We can't achieve powerful learning without a powerful conduit, the teacher. Becoming an accomplished teacher requires time and support and dignity and respect. Take the San Francisco Teacher Residency Program. Teachers in San Francisco's highest need schools start with a year-long residency alongside an accomplished teacher. The program has led to not just higher teacher retention rates, but a diverse teaching core reflective of the community it serves. AFT locals have used their advocacy and collective bargaining to help teachers continuously hone their craft and build our profession. And the glue that binds everything else together is the fourth pillar, collaboration. 
ABC Unified School District and its teacher union have an intentional and purposeful collaboration to improve their schools. The results speak for themselves. Latino students, African American students, and students from low income families performing much better than their counterparts in the state of California. I extend both a challenge and an invitation to Ms. DeVos. Spend some time in public schools. There's no substitute for seeing firsthand what works in our public schools or for seeing the indefensible conditions that many students, teachers, and school staff endure. The Trump administration can follow the will of the people or they can follow the destructive dogmas of the past and reignite the education wars. Let's be clear. If they do the latter, communities across the country will stand up and defend their public schools and our children. Thank you so, so much.